Thomas was waiting at a junction when a bus arrived. Hello, said Thomas. Who are you? I'm Bertie. Who are you? I'm Thomas. I run this branch line. So you're Thomas, huh? I remember now. You got stuck in the snow. I took your passengers and Terence the tractor pulled you out. I'm coming to help you with your passengers today. Help me, said Thomas. I can go faster than you. You can't, said Bertie. I can, puffed Thomas. I'll race you then. The drivers agreed to the race going ahead. The station master said, Are you ready? Go! Thomas never could go fast at first. And Bertie drew in front. Why don't you go fast? Why don't you go fast? Said Annie and Clarabelle. Wait and see, wait and see, puffed Thomas. He's a long way ahead, they wailed together. But Thomas didn't mind. He remembered the crossing. There was Bertie fuming as Thomas the tank engine sailed gaily through. Peep, peep, goodbye, Bertie. After that, the road left the railway, so they couldn't see Bertie. Then they had to stop at the station to let off passengers. Peep, peep, peep! Quickly, please, called Thomas, and off they went again. Come along, come along, said Thomas. We're coming along, we're coming along, said Annie and Clarabelle. Hurry, 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 called Thomas. Then he looked ahead, and there was Bertie, not far away from him. Oh dearie me, oh dearie me, said Thomas. Steady, Thomas, said his driver. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. We'll beat Bertie yet. Said Annie and Crabbell. We'll do it. We'll do it, said Thomas. Oh dear, there's a station. Then he saw Bertie. Goodbye, Thomas. You must be tired. Sorry I can't stop. We buses have to work, you know. Goodbye. And then he set off laughing, feeling like he was going to win. Oh dear. Dear Fort Thomas, we've lost, but he felt better after a drink. The signal dropped. Hurrah, we're off! Hurrah, we're off! said Thomas. As Thomas came along a bend, he heard an impatient honk honk. And there was Bertie waiting impatiently at a traffic light. He started with a roar and chased on after Thomas. Now Thomas had gained his full speed. Bertie tried hard, but he just couldn't do it. Thomas then plunged into the tunnel. I've done it! I've done it! said Thomas. You've done it! Hooray! You've done it! Hooray! chortled Annie and Clarabelle as they whooshed into the last station. Everyone was there to give Thomas a big welcome, but they gave Bertie one too. Well done, said Bertie. That was fun. But to beat you over that hill, I shall have to grow wings and be an aeroplane. They now keep each other very busy. They often talk about their race, but Bertie's passengers don't like being bounced like peas in a frying pan. And the fat controller has warned Thomas not to race at dangerous speed. So although, between you and me, they would like to have another race, I don't think they will, do you?